So you want to learn how to build some serious strength and size in your shoulders. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk you through the basics that you must get right when training your shoulders to ensure that you avoid injury, build some good strength and some muscle hypertrophy. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image. There's many different exercises that you can do to strengthen the shoulders, but you cannot overlook the old dumbbell shoulder press. So just by grabbing your dumbbells, and of course there's multiple grips. We can do a neutral grip or a pronated grip. We can do Arnold presses. There's all different ways to do it. We're just gonna do a neutral grip shoulder press, and we're gonna push all the way up and back down. But I'm gonna to talk to you about three concepts first before I show you a bunch of different exercises that we'll do in this workout that you really need to get your head around for building good shoulders. And that is the order of strength development, the order of uh, priority really when it comes to doing weightlifting. And that is stability, mobility, then strength. So the very first thing that we look for when we're training the shoulders is stability. And stability refers to balance between agonist and antagonist, so opposing muscle groups in a joint system. So in this case, for pushing and pulling, vertical push, vertical pull, we need to look for balance between the pushing muscles that do, that do a vertical push and also the pulling muscles that do a vertical pull. Pull. Okay, you need to train those two movement patterns in a one-to-one -one ratio. A lot of people make a big mistake when training their upper body by pairing bench pressing or horizontal pushing with pull-ups. They are not a good way to pair exercises and we've run into a lot of problems in the past before we understood this. Bench pressing should be paired with horizontal pulling or horizontal rowing. Shoulder pressing should be paired with pull-up and it should be a one-to-one -one ratio of the volume that you do. Okay, And then the other aspect of stability is the prime movers versus the stabilizers. So the prime movers or the outer unit is the, are the, are the big muscles, you know, the deltoids, the triceps, the pecs, uh, the lats, the biceps, or, and the inner unit refers to the stability muscles like the rotator cuff and the scapula stabilizers. So what we wanna look at here, now I'm gonna show you, oh sorry, then when we go to mobility, mobility refers to um, basically creating mobility in the joint. And a really good way to create mobility in the shoulder joint is through full range of motion um, strength training. So anything that's partial range is not going to train mobility. But when you train full range of motion, bringing your arms all the way up into flexion, so this is not going to train full mobility, uh, mobility because I'm not going to full range of motion. But if I set my shoulders down, if I keep my body stable, and if I go all the way up into shoulder flexion, I'm going to train uh, mobility. And also, coming from a full dead hang, all the way down into a pull-up. That's gonna train mobility. And then after we've ticked those two boxes, that's when we start building some real strength. And this is where a lot of people go wrong, right? They start with the strength component. They come to the gym and they just wanna live heavy. They haven't thought about the stability, um, they haven't thought about the mobility, and they just go straight to the strength. So. Hey, in case we haven't met, my name is Rad Burmeister. I'm one of the co-founders of Unity Gym and co-creators of the UMS, Unify Movement System, where we make driven people strong, flexible, and fit with daily one-hour workouts. If you want to get started with us and know how we achieve such amazing results with our tribe, there's three ways you can get started. Number one, get one of the free blueprints. There's a link in the description of this video. Number two, you can grab one of our programs for strength, flexibility, calisthenics, or injury rehab by clicking the link to our programs catalog. And number three, if you wanna get started with online coaching with me and my team, you can get a 30-day free trial where you get access to our UMS online coaching program and our done-for-you one-hour workouts that balance strength, flexibility, and fitness. Click the link in the description to start your free trial now. What, we're gonna, what I'm gonna show you now is, oh sorry as well, the last one, so for, for stability, if we talk about the inner unit um, for training the rotator cuff, for example, there's so many different ways you can do this, but this is a really good way to get started, is with one of these glute loops, if you grab onto the glute loop and try and keep your upper arm, your forearm vertical, sorry, not your upper arm, your forearm, and we're gonna keep the shoulders back and down, and then from here, we're just gonna press above the head, like this, okay? And what we're trying to do is to keep those forearms vertical. So watch this, shoulders uh, back and down, pressing up above the head and back down, trying to avoid this, okay? That's what we're trying to avoid. 
Now that's actually an exercise that's really good to do as a warm-up, but also as supplementary lifts at the end. So as a warm-up, you could do uh, one or two sets of higher volume with a really thinner band, so maybe 10 to 12 reps, and then as a supplementary lift at the end of your workout to really strengthen up the rotator cuffs and the uh, shoulder stabilizers, you could do three to five sets, and you could do a little bit of a thicker band, so you're only doing maybe that eight to 10 rep range. So, Let's have a look at a, at a primary workout for building shoulders. So first exercise we're gonna do is a neutral grip shoulder press. Neutral grip's a really good exercise to start with because it allows for a greater range of motion than a pronator grip. When you do a pronator grip, you're limited with your range of motion, but with a neutral grip, you can go a lot deeper here, okay? So we're gonna start like this. We're gonna pull the shoulders, set the shoulders back and down. That's a really good uh, plan for developing good strength with pushing, okay? And then from here, we're gonna push straight up, lock the arms out, bring the shoulders up into full flexion, okay? And then back down under control. Pushing up, back down under control. Pushing up, back down under control. Couple of things to think of. Pull the heels together so you activate your glutes and keep your core engaged. Allow the, the um, upper arm to travel through the scapular plane so you don't have to force it to stay in this uh, plane here. We can allow it to go through the scapular plane and try to keep the shoulders back and down at all times. What that does is that creates a platform with the scapula for your arms to push off, which is really beneficial for heavier uh, pressing movements that are gonna come later in your training. So we'll do, we'll do a set of those. Rest, it depends on the rep range you do. You know, if you're doing, uh, if you're going for an accumulation uh, training cycle, um, your rest range would most likely be, your rest period would most likely be less than if you were doing an intensification cycle where you're doing five reps or less. Uh, or less. You'd probably be doing more rest there. But either way, you're gonna have your rest period and then we're gonna jump up and do a couple of pull-ups. And with the pull-up, what I'm gonna show you here is a technique that I like to use where I'm gonna go start with an arch into hang and then I'm gonna pull my chest up to the bar and then we're gonna come back down into a complete dead hang and we wanna get rid of all momentum. We do not want any uh, momentum going from one rep of the pull-up to the next one. We want raw strength in our pull-ups, okay? So I'm gonna try and watch out this microphone doesn't uh, hit the bar when I come up. So I'll come from a dead hang all the way up, back down to a dead hang all the way up, back down to a dead hang. Okay. It takes practice to get a good pull up and we've got lots of videos on how to do that. There's lots of ways that you can break that down by using eccentrics, isometric holds, hybrid sets if you can't do pull ups like that. But the thing that I want to take, I want you to take away from the most, uh, the most from this with the pull up is the way that you go from a dead hang, so completely hanging, so you're getting full range of motion, initiating by pulling the shoulders down, so scapular depression, so that we create really good shoulder um, uh, function, and then pulling all the way up, trying to get the chest to the bar, so we get full range of motion at the top, and then back down to the bottom. One of the biggest mistakes in the gym that you'll see with pull-ups are these half reps where people are banging out these reps and they're never going to a full hang, a full dead hang. And that will not train the mobility component of what I've said, stability, mobility, uh, and strength, okay? So, and then if you do, you know, this, this would be your primary workout for your shoulders. So you do anywhere from three to five sets. And the reason I say a, a set range is because somebody that's newer to training can still get a great result from maybe three sets. Somebody that's been training for a little bit longer is gonna to need to do more like four or five sets. Um, and by doing this, we're gonna give the shoulders a good pump. We're gonna give it a good, uh, we're gonna really get into the deltoids in a really nice way. We get, when you're doing a shoulder press like that, you will use all parts of the deltoids. Um, and then we're going to balance, structurally balance that shoulder joint by also doing the pulling movements as well. And the pull has a, as an added benefit of also uh, bringing in the rear deltoid as well. Uh, and then by adding in that rotator cuff movement, the, um, the banded shoulder press, we're adding the structure there, we're ticking off the mobility box, and when you get that right, you can start upping the weight, you can add some weight to your pull-ups, build some serious strength, get some size in those shoulders, and let us know how you go.
Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you know when our weekly videos are uploaded. Now, the best thing for you to do if you want to stay connected with us and get free online coaching is to join our private Facebook group. It's called the UMS Movement Mastermind and we go live daily where we answer our members' questions. It's very interactive because you can post questions while we're live and we interact with you on the show. You can also upload videos or pictures of yourself with any movements, any stretches, strength training movements, calisthenics, weightlifting, anything that you're struggling with, and we'll critique you, give you feedback, let you know how you can get better. It's a really valuable resource. It allows a lot of communication with us and also our senior tribe members. You'll get answers very, very quickly, and it's absolutely free. So jump on Facebook, search for UMS Movement Mastermind, and join now. Until next time, have a great day.